Hello. Hello and welcome to Wildland Restorations. Today we're doing something very important. Extremely important. It is putting Isofix into your classic car. Isofix is good. It makes your baby safe. Keeps your family safe. It's a good system for your car seats and they didn't have it when Volvo 240s were made. No, I mean they invented the seat belts, Volvo. They but, certainly um, did. But back in the Stuff, day... Stuff's advanced a bit since then for babies. You just put your baby on the parcel shelf. I've seen the pictures. Yeah, I've seen all the pictures. seen the pictures. Babies can roll around in the back, but not anymore. Yep. We're going to be making sure that this one... Hey, this one. Yeah. Is locked down secure. <laughs> locked down, safe and secure. So Lewis is going to be fitting a... Is it a, uni, it's a universal kit, isn't it's it? It's a universal thing I bought from Amazon. Mm -hmm. We'll put a link in the description. And I'm hoping it's going to be as simple as, I know it sounds horrible, drill a hole in the floor <laughs> and bolt it through with a big washer on the other side. Secure it to the body it's of the It's going car. to be putting it in the correct place would be more important yeah. because you don't want to stick it out through the seats too much because if somebody else sat in there. But I think once, make, yeah. once the seat's locked in, I don't think we'll be... We're going to put the seats into position, get the isofix coming through the back. As I'm sure Volvo 240 owners know, the seats are in two halves. So we're going to work with that, get it done. Then we're going to test fit her car seat. It's going to be exciting stuff. It's going to be good. The Volvo's the prime time for this for our Volvo because there's no interior in it. Exactly. We're going to do it while the, uh, yeah. the interior is stripped. Good job. Right then, are you supervising? I think she's just covering you in slime. Lovely. Let's crack nice. on. Like I said, the car is in perfect state to be putting in extras like this because there's no interior, there's no axle, there's nothing underneath, there's no petrol tank. Um, it's an ideal time to be bolting something extra on. This is the something extra. Like I said, this is came straight off of Amazon. This is just a bracket that holds... Um, that holds isofix. It should be the right dimensions width-wise and these bits should be correct. I've not tested any of this. Um, I'm hoping all we have to do is bolt it in like that maybe against there. Plenty of bolting surfaces. We could get four bolts in there. And I'm hoping it's gonna work. I have no idea. I guess the first thing we do is we get the seat back we put the seat back back in and then we can slide this into roughly the right place, mark it up with a sharpie, then we'll have a better idea of what we're dealing with. There could be a slight possibility we could reuse this hole, like use, unbolt that and bolt that straight in there. But we won't know until the seat's in, so let's get the seat in. It just so happens that the seat is right here. Mad. Oh, good, good days back breaking workers lifting seats in and out of cars. It's so weird I don't have to be loud to talk to you now. I can be the other side of the car, mattering away, grunting away, lifting seats in, and you can still hear, hear everything I've got to whinge on about. Like, what idiot left those tools in the way? Oh, that would be me. Let's get in. Oh, we're in. Right, seats. Hook behind there. Not a lot else going on. Making a conscious effort not to grunt and moan about stuff because you guys can hear it. <laughs> Is that silly? I don't know, it might be silly. Great stuff. So where's that bracket gone? Sitting on it. This bracket here. That went in there. Put that up into there. Come on. Get in there, you. There, like that. The ISO fix should be able to push back and click in. Click and click like that. So that's looking like we should use that bolt. That's pretty convenient, isn't it? If we use that bolt, and we've just got one hole to drill. One hole 
is better than several holes. And again, Volvo bolts just come undone. Don't know if modern Volvos are the same. Maybe if you work on modern Volvos, you can let me know whether seatbelt bolts just come out. Because seatbelt bolts on most other vehicles are a pain in the butt, and seat belt and seat bolts too. Man, difficult. But not on a Volvo. This piece here, we're going to bolt through all of these into the car floor. And I'm going to drill a hole through that bracket about there, leaving enough room for this to wiggle around, making sure it doesn't rub against the sharp edge of that. Yeah. And then I will, about the same height, drill a hole through there as well. So when we bolt it back in, I've got somewhere to go to and I might actually end up doing a bit of a little bit of bending of this thing because well these are too long to start with I could put extra bolts in up there but if that one bolt is strong enough to hold a human being in then two of them is going to be strong enough to hold a little baba in especially with a big old plate behind it is that the chassis I think that's the chassis. See, these, there's some spot welds here. There, there and there. Which would tell me something's running here. And if that's the chassis, then I can't bolt there, can I? Right, we're back. Um, after a long, hard think, um, I think that is going to be a good place to put the mounting point because it's, it's in the chassis. It's a stronger place, really, is there? But what we're going to have to do, which will be tricky, is we're going to have to put a plate in there, fish it down into the bottom of here, and somehow we're going to have to try and fix it in internally. Um, I suppose I could drill it and plug weld it, that would be very permanent. Um, probably the best course of action, to be honest, drill it and plug weld it. Or I could drill it and rivet it, because, because the plate's going to be on the back of that. The rivets aren't the strength, the rivets are just holding it in place. It won't stop it pulling through this way. If I were to weld it on the front of it, if I were to place it on the, front of it, on the top and rivet it, then the rivets would be structural. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and slot it into the chassis and maybe just a couple of rivets just hold it in place. And the bolt will do all the work once it's bolted up. Right, I have been to the bench. I have drilled a hole. I have done some metal bending to see if it would, well, to form it more to the shape of the seat. This lumpy part of the car. <laughs> and now the bolt should fit in and bolt up nicely without crushing anything. Um, so let's give that a bolt up and see how it feels. That's not bad at all, you know. Not bad at all. I say we start by drilling a hole along this sort of access of the bracket itself. Along that line. I'm going to say we're going to drill it there because that looks nice and central to all the stuff. Is it the right size? Yes. So I've had an idea, crazy as it sounds. I've drilled two holes in this plate and what we're going to do is we're going to thread a bit of MIG wire through it. The MIG wire should hold it in place whilst I slot this down and once I've got it in the correct place I could just pull the MIG wire straight out. No messing around with magnets or hooky things. I don't know, it sounds too good to be true. So, to start with, I'm going to just line that up. I'm going to mark where these two holes are. Two. So, now... Oh, I nearly put my thing down on my phone. That would have been a dumb thing to do. 
wouldn't have been the dumbest thing I've done today. So now we get the MIG wire and we go through from this side, through from this side, and through from this side, like so. And that will lock that in place. So I should be able to pull that down and get it up into there. Now you're going to ask how are we going to get that MIG wire out of that? Oh, well, first I'm going to thread the MIG wire up through the bottom mould up to in there somewhere. There we go. Now, make sure that bit doesn't come out of that hole. I'm going to just bend that right round on itself. Ooh, this is going to be good. Round the back that way and then back in that way. Yeah. But you want to really make sure you've got enough MIG wire to do the job. I cut mine a little bit too short, I think, but maybe just enough to do what I need to do. Right, I've got this end, slotting that into there, and pull in. Oh, it's it's only working. Yeah, that's what I've done. I, I've my hole's a bit too off centre. I'm going to have to drill cut off a good 10mm off of the plate, so let's just pull this backing plate back out. Mind your eyes. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to cut 10mm or so off of that, slot it back in and have another shot. I'll be back. Um, attempt number two, I have trimmed a slice off, so hopefully that'll now sit where I want it to sit. Silly me. It was never going to go right the first time, was it? So close. I think we got it this time. Right, we have it. So we just, now, in theory, Pull this wire out and we've got it. It is hooked. Get a three millimeter drill bit, bang a couple of holes, one, two, a couple of three mil rivets, just to hold that in place for when this bolt's not in there. We are in business. Remember, these are not structural, they're just holding the plate in place. So when the bolt's not in there. Yeah, not structural. Nobody's life is depending on two aluminium rivets. The location of that plate. That's all that that's going to do, is just to hold that in the right place. Trial fitted the seat at all with any of this stuff we've done. It's, if it don't fit, it's totally your fault. Okay? You should have told me. You said, oi, fit that seat. It's time to slot the seat in and see what we have got. It's a good job these are big cars, isn't it? Seat coming in. Beautiful. Like that.
Right, well, I can just about see the Isofix brackets, but they're very well tucked behind all the cushioning. So it shouldn't bother me when I sit on it. Not at all. I can't feel them at all. I don't know if you can see my head. Let's turn the screen around on the camera. Now, yeah, you can just about see my head. So anyway, I can't feel the Isofix at all, which is great news, which means I don't have to take them back out if I don't need to. Um, also, you can't really see them. You can just about make out there's something there, but you don't know. I think when the Baba seat is, when she doesn't need it anymore, I think I will remove it because it's leaving quite a big gap here. Lots of McDonald's chips will get lost down there. Um, but I think, I think the Baba seat's going to lock on really nicely. There's only one last thing to do, and that is to get the seat, put it in and lock it down, see if it actually works. Um, that's a tomorrow job because I didn't bring that with me. Fast forward to tomorrow. It's, it's tomorrow! tomorrow. <laughs> Lewis has been busy, haven't you? I'm always busy. You're always busy, busy, but that's... I had a really busy day today, actually. It was such a busy day today. Yesterday, you were with us, me, us, me? I can't remember. I don't know. Um, drilling holes and fitting brackets to fit a bracket. To put a bracket in a bracket. We were putting brackets in to hold a bracket. Anyway, bracketception. Today, we've had Ian and Carly in. Ian and Carly and Little Hublet yeah. and... And other, other visitors, visitors uh, Spencer with the monkey bikes come yeah. in to see us to take the last of the parts away. Yeah, people picking up stuff, couriers picking up, picking stuff, up, courier. up stuff. It's been a day of It's been a busy, busy. It's really nice to have Ian and Carly around. Yeah, nice it's been chat. Nice chatting and mince pie. And you can watch all of that in the next week's, in this week's, this midweek. Week's midweek. I don't really know where we are. I've got no idea what day it is. Is it, is it Bailey's time In the next time mid weeks, <laughs> mid, In the next midweek will be our yeah, cup anyway, of tea and a chat with Ian Anyway, Cullen. I've come down with the car seat to try out this isofix. Oh, this car seat This over car here. seat right here. Um, sure you're all familiar with the isofix system. It's a really secure click for your car seat, bolts it straight to the car, keeps everything super safe. This is the seat. This is the seat. It's a little Joey. Joey. So, let's put the seat in, see if Test what I've fit. done actually works. Yeah, it should work. I don't see why it won't. We put down a little bit of a blankie there to stop it scratching the leather. Um, I'm gonna see if this fits all right oh, now. That needs to go back. back up. Okay, car seat coming in. Here we go. The leg has dropped down. That's right. okay, I'm gonna pin that now. It's a lot easier without any interior in the car, but that's it. Now it is oh, sturdy. Yeah, much more sturdy. Much more sturdy. It is so <sighs> comfy in the back here. These are the super comfy seats. Super comfy seats. Aye. <sighs> well. Job well done. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's so good in here. I can't wait to get this on the road. I'm getting really excited. It's not that far away. It's, it's not that um, far away. Time is our biggest enemy at the moment. Time. Not, not like the um, herb. Oh no, not parsley and thyme. No, not the herb. No. Still debating on whether to put the rear headrest back in or not. I'll keep it, keep it off. Maybe we could get our own designed. Mm. Make our own headrest that will be more in keeping with the front seats rather than the slutty Volvo we'll ones. See. We'll see. We'll see. Pardon? What Volvo ones? Slotty. Slotty. Not slutty. Slotty Volvo ones. Right, I'll see you later. Right, we're going. We're, <laughs> we're done. Going. Great video. Thanks. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>